So I'm on my way to my very favorite antique malls in Portland area. It's the Stars Antique Malls. They have an amazing selection. Like the vendors are killer. Everything is so curated. Pricing is good. They have a rewards program, which is amazing. And then also they have great sales throughout the year. Yeah, my voice. Yeah, I have laryngitis. Well, the tail end of laryngitis. So um, I sound a little bit like myself. So if it's your first time watching me, this is not my normal voice. <laughs> Sound a little bit different than this, but um, I'm trying to like power through and still go out shopping, still try to make a video for you guys. So I can't wait to see what I find today. So my friend Taylor, who I search with a lot, is going to be shopping with me. So I'm going to see her in just a second. There's Taylor. She's filming me as I film her. Hello. <laughs> are we ready for this? We are ready for this. We're ready Let's for this. It. So this picture I have admired forever, but it's way outside my budget, even with That's the discount. Really cool. I know, isn't it amazing? But the colors are so good. But maybe one day, maybe one day. So this candelabra is exquisite. I mean, look at the detail. So 48, I do sell a lot of candelabras, but I have a lot right now, but this is stunning. Okay, so Taylor found this cutie pie. Hand carved. Oh, look at his little tail. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that his little buns? So cute. And are you getting this too? Yeah. That's beautiful. $8. Oh my god. Yeah. And like with a discount, I'm sure. So oh, yeah. I'm gonna probably get this. The little woven. Yeah, because I sold one actually to um a McGee and Co. Ooh, person. Yeah. And this one is a little bit more like, you know, ornate compared to the other one that I sold. So and that's twelve ninety five with thirty percent off. So yeah. Like slam dunk. That is a slam we're going to need a basket. We're going to need a basket. We're only been here five minutes. We need a basket. So I grabbed this picture because my grandma had a big version hanging in her house. And according to my mom, this was a very common portrait that was like hanging in people's homes, um, like mid-century homes. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to see if she wants it. It's $8 with like a percent off, but it's like cute and small and a good wood frame. And it just reminds me of my grandma, her mom. So I um, may have to bring it home. So this is one of the many booths of my favorite vendor who always has lots of interesting things and very good deals, fair prices. So can't wait to go around their spaces and see what they have. Oh, look at this. What are you? <laughs> this, is, this is very cute. Is this not the cutest? Like, I just think it's really cute. Like for a kid's room, this painting, it's very cute. So this is the cutest little dooney I have ever seen. It's 42, so I won't be getting it, but oh my goodness, look at that size. So one thing we all do is we get our Google app out and we take a picture to see if anything comes up on it, especially if it's something we've never seen. So anything coming up? Well, just that not it's Tonala. very but common. Yeah, but Let's the actual one is not coming up. No, might be. So I found this cuff right there. It looks like it's only 12 bucks, but it's very cool brass. So right there, I want to think I may end up getting that. So this may be the cutest little set of mushroom things I've ever seen. Usually I don't like the mushroom stuff because the colors are not my colors, but this pink set with the cream is so cute. So I'm on the hunt today for jewelry because I am really into buying jewelry right now and floral art pieces for my mom and of course small pieces of art for me and just anything else that you know catches my eye but those are the kind of things i'm like mainly looking for so i think i may have found a piece of jewelry for myself so i'm really excited about that so you guys know that i cannot pass up a little carved wooden box i mean this is 24 there's a discount but not enough to tempt me but i think this is so beautiful Here's a random piece of shelf art. Um, it's actually painted 1992. That's really pretty. God, in Europe, that'd be so expensive. Okay, so we are going to the second side. Ooh, art bin. Oh, man. Art bin. So, yeah. 
This is my favorite side. Both both sides are good, but this one has a lot of really good stuff. So this piece stopped me in my tracks. Oh my god, thirty four. I don't. How much is the discount in this booth? Are they? This is so beautiful. So we're in a booth space, and I'm just like, I really love everything in here, and some of it like seemed familiar to me, and. Of course, it's our friend Heather and Brian from Restated PDX, their booth. And so I'm getting some stuff. Surprise, guys. I know. Hi, Heather and Brian. Oh, yeah. She says hi, hi, too. Yeah. So they are lovely, and they follow my channel. And we also, like, go out to lunch and thrift together. But, yeah. I've never been to their booth here, and I'm so excited. So I've never seen salt and pepper shapers like this. Like this shape. I mean, how amazing is that? Like someone needs to grab these because I know a lot of people around here are collecting dance, dance, if I can even talk, teak, <laughs> salt and pepper shaker. So this hand, well, he's, I don't know, it's dusty as dusty gets. 1290, or no, 1995, Ooh, 30 high, off. Well, 30, 30 off. I never really find them. And this one's very cool, but he's a little gross, but yeah. he's coming home. He'll be, he'll another floral that is stunning oh my goodness so 75 75 yeah with 30 off oh so tempting so beautiful so this is a very cool and sculptural wow how much at 21 oof like i don't have anywhere to put it well maybe i can find room it's very cool so this piece i may get I'm, just, I'm breaking my pottery rule, but I think for like matches, this would be awesome to put matches, like the decorative match trend that I'm seeing. So I may have to get it. Oh. Taylor spotted this like adorable ladybug market bag. I mean, how cute. So there's 10 minutes left. No! We're having too much fun. Don't turn the lights on. I know, they, they turn the lights on. So I may have to come back again. So the sale is going on through the entire weekend and Monday because it's Labor Day weekend. So we have to just come back and uh, shop some more stuff because I think people will probably fill their booths up over the weekend as too as they like go out sourcing. So um, yeah, we have to come back, but I've seen so many good things. So I really like this. It's only $25, <laughs> 20 off. Um, it's very cool, but I'm just like, ooh, like red is just not something I'm typically buying. So I don't know if I should do red or not. Okay, so it's the next day. My voice is back a little bit more. Oh, I just want my voice back. It's been so hard to have laryngitis for over a week. Uh, but I'm definitely sounding more like myself. So at least this portion of the video, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's kind of how you sound, Andy. So I have a few good things to show you from the trip that I did with Taylor onto one of our favorite antique malls. And then I have a few things that I've actually gotten like out and about that I just haven't shown you and I didn't film any footage because sometimes like I don't film when I'm at an estate sale or if I'm just like popping in and I don't have time. So I have a few other things I'm gonna show you to round out this haul to make it as big as you're accustomed to. Okay, so let's just jump right into what I got. So the first thing I picked up, which you guys saw on the camera, was this amazing woven jug. So things like this are definitely having a moment because they're so natural and textural and organic in shape. And they just have like that old world look to them. Um, and so yeah, this was like, I think it was like $12.95 or 30% off. So it was a steal. Another booth had a silver one and it was $50. So I was like, yes definitely felt like I scored on this. I sold another woven jug like this recently to actually someone from Studio McGee. So I was like, oh, yay. So it's always exciting when um, designers or design houses buy from you. It's always like a really exciting moment because you're like, oh, what are they going to use it for? And it's just fun to be recognized for something like that they like because like I admire Studio McGee. I love her aesthetic, even though it's not what I decorate with personally. I just really love that style. So anyways, it was very exciting to find another one of these. This will be available on my Etsy shop. So the next item you guys are going to be like, of course you picked that up, Andy, because you love Russian nesting dolls. So I do collect them for those that don't know. And she was just too cute 
not to buy. So she was $3, I think for like 20% off. So I grabbed her. She'll be going on my keychain. Um, but yeah, I just love rushing nesting dolls. I have a huge collection and just bring up me so much joy. So sorry it was not be available because this is for me. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is kind of funny because I told myself no more studio pottery, which I actually will be filming a video soon about how I'm not picking up studio pottery along with other things that I'm not and other resellers are not picking up anymore. But <laughs> Surprise, I broke the rule. So this pot I thought was really beautiful. It's it's like stoneware, very textural, blues, browns. Um, I love that it has pink felt on the bottom of all things. I never see pink felt. Anyway, it was like super cheap. It was like $6, 30% off. The reason I bought it, so there's a really, there is a reason I bought this, not just because it's a cute pot. So on Instagram, I've been seeing a lot of people decorating with the decorative matches. Um, and so they have like really short squat vessels like this. Um, and that are small and have a, like a narrow enough opening and then they're taking the matches out of the match like not books but the match boxes and then putting them in and then they're all like clustered together and it's just a really fun styling moment looks really nice and they hide like the striking portion or the strip on the bottom so anyways i wanted to do that because i was just like ooh, that'd be a really fun decorative moment i like candles um and so i've been on the hunt for a very specific vessel and that is this this will not be available i'm sorry because i'm going to try to do that with the matches so i gotta order my matches so if anyone has ordered decorative matches recently and they like them and they have a lot of colors let me know in the comments below where you bought them because i was just gonna go to amazon but i feel like there's probably better places so let me know but yeah sorry this will not be available because i can't wait to put matches in it so another item for me <laughs> sorry but there is going to be something for you guys so um, this hand, so I have a hand collection that I'm doing now. I do not have one like this. So I was very excited. All of my other wooden hands are smaller. This is like the first like very substantial hand that I've picked up. So this is a little bit more. This was like 20 bucks with 30 off. So a little bit more than I typically would spend on a hand. It's also filthy. Ugh, it has so much dust on it. Um, but I just thought it was very cool. So I'll pop like a picture on the screen of my like growing hand collection, but there's someone that I follow on Instagram called White Pepper Vintage. She has a lot of lovely collections. Um, one of them is hands and globes and twisty, fun, colorful candles. So she definitely inspired me <laughs> to do a lot of uh, collecting of certain items now because I've seen her collection. So yeah, my, all my candles are like in this top drawer. I'll have to show you like that too. You guys will be like amazed. If you are on, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen my collection now. I just organized it into here. So it's like, it's like all the colors of the rainbow. But anyways, I am like getting off track. So this will not be available because it's for me, but I don't come across hands that often. And I thought this one was really sunny. So the next item is a jewelry piece, which I wish I could keep, but it just doesn't fit my wrist, which ugh, so annoying, but it was a very good deal. It's um like this really heavy brass, this amazing patina. It has, I'm trying to think, like, there we go. Can you see it? Um, it has like a very weird face there and then like a crawfish. And then on this side is a lizard. So it's very weighty, very cool. Um, yeah, it's killing me because I love jewelry. Love accessorizing, obviously. Um, so I really wish I could keep it, but it just does not fit my wrist. So I'll be making it available for you guys. But yeah, this is like my first like four -way, foray into selling um, a jewelry item. So I can't wait to get this listed. So another piece that will not be available, sorry, that I actually picked up for my mom. So hopefully she won't like, her birthday is like in a few days. So. I'll have to give this to her before this video comes out. Otherwise, it'd be like, surprise, here's one of your presents. Um, but it's this really old mid-century portrait. I guess, according to my mom, this picture um, used to hang in, like, so many people's homes, like, growing up when she was growing up in, like, you know, the 60s and 70s and stuff. And so it's, like, Peter, I guess. I don't know. I got to do more research on this kid. Uh, but my grandma had it. It looks a lot like my uncle. So I think that's why she had it in her home. Um, but anyways, usually they're like a lot bigger and, um, and I have no idea where the one that my grandma actually had went. So, um, we have a lot of nostalgia around this, especially like my mom, but we don't want like a big one on the wall because it's not really our style. But this one with the frame being like wood, and like a little bit of patina on the print. It looks a little bit more elevated and um, like old world, which definitely like fits into my mom's aesthetic. So I think she'll be excited because it would like definitely uh, remind her of my grandma who's passed like a while now, um, and but not be so like, like literally <laughs> the one my grandma had literally was like this big. So anyways, yeah, very exciting find. Will not be available because it's going to my mom. Okay, so the last piece that I picked up at the antique mall, and then I have a few other like items that I'm gonna show you too, 
It is this amazing, absolutely amazing, will kill me to let it go, but I will, um, large brass rose centerpiece. Now this sucker is so heavy. It is absolutely stunning. When I saw it at my friend's booth, I was like, <gasps> Like I knew I was gonna have to bring it home. So then I messaged them, I'm like, I'm buying something from your booth. So yeah, so they were having like a 10% sale. So I got 10%. And then also because that mall has um, a rewards program, I also got like additional money off because I had spent enough um, <laughs> the last time I was there. Um, so anyways, I thought this was so, so beautiful. I mean, what a stunning centerpiece. Like obviously this can go anywhere, but I was thinking like, can you imagine on a bride and groom's like table, you know, because they're usually like have their separate like table at their reception, like how stunning this would be like in front of them with candles and all the other like mixed in florals. I was just like, oh my God, that's a moment. Can I get married again? Then I remember that getting married is a special type of hell because the stress from planning a wedding is insane. Um, so I definitely don't want to revisit that again. I mean, I had a great, lovely wedding. I did it different than most people I had. Um, this is just like a side story, but I was married um, in Italy, in Positano, and then I had a reception in the UK, and then a reception in the States. So I did three different types of weddings, events. So that's why I think for me personally, it was a lot worth it, but a lot. Um, so yeah, but anyways, that's, that's a side story <laughs> for you guys that you didn't ask for. But anyways, that will be available. Um, it's going to kill me when it goes. Um, but yeah, it's just such a stunning piece. I had to grab it. Okay, so a few more things. So this is something my mom picked up for me. And I've actually seen it for the first time. She's like, I bought, I bought something for you. And surprise, surprise, it is a Mary statue. So she said that she found this as a dollar. And she said that the pink, she just figured I probably would like the pink, which I do, of course. How beautiful is that? So yeah, my religious collection continues to grow. Ah, I know it's like, you're probably like Andy, last few videos, this has something in it, but this is like a dollar. I mean, how can you say no to her for a dollar? So yeah, this will be part of my personal collection. I will not be really introducing it to you guys, but something I will be selling, um, and I think you guys will be excited, are these awesome marble lamps. So I actually have a pair of these. So my mom found the first one at an estate sale and then I happened to go to that estate sale a day or two later on the discount day. So I have a pair. So they are marble with brass and they are the most perfect size lamp, like the petitest lamp. These are so versatile. One of the best places for a small lamp like this is actually in your kitchen. So a lot of people don't realize that they rely on the overhead lights or undermount lights in the kitchen. And sometimes you just want a really soft light that's very focused. And lamps like this, this size are perfect for a kitchen or like when you have um, that, like that entertaining buffet area in your kitchen. So anyway, I mean, obviously it can go anywhere, but that's one of the main like hero moments of a small lamp is the kitchen. A lot of people don't realize that you can put lamps in your kitchen. So this one, so there, um, I don't know where the other mate of it went, but yeah, so there's two of these, they will be available. They're very solid and heavy. And yeah, the shades on them are a little tired. I will say that. A little tired but if you have this like old world aesthetic that like old victorian that's very popular right now i don't think the shades are a big deal because i think it adds to that like charm but you could easily find another cute little shade to go on this and it's just like in the actual like base and patina on the brass is really like perfect so um these will be available um i wish i decorated like this somewhat because they're just so cute and we um but lucky for you guys i don't so this will be available in my etsy shop couple more things. So I happened to go to like a very random like rummage type sale. I got this beautiful brass inlay box from India. It's just like a pencil box. It was 50 cents. I had to grab it. And I also got these really beautiful wood coasters. So I actually had a set like this recently and I sold them up at the tiny bramble shop where I have some of my stuff like in a physical location up in Portland. So, but they're just so like smooth and beautiful. I mean, Everybody needs coasters, and this set is just like a really nice rustic type of set. Um, and it's in really good shape because coasters, you know, they get a lot of action. Um, at least they should be getting a lot of action because that means you're protecting your surfaces. But sometimes it's really hard to find like sets like this that are in really, really good shape. So, yeah, this will be available in my Etsy shop. Okay, there's two more random things to show you that I got because I just happened to be picking up. 
One is this very cute vintage mirror. Um, it's just brass. I like the fun shape. It was super cheap. It was like three bucks. So that's why I grabbed it. Another mirror that I had sold up at Tiny Bramble Shop up in Portland um, sold really quickly. So this is something that I probably will take up to there. Probably won't, I won't sell it on Etsy because it's just like, I don't like... I don't like shipping mirrors for obvious reasons. So this will be available up there. But yeah, it was so, so cute. Really, really cute. And it's like the perfect moment on top of a vanity. Vanity. My voice is going, obviously. Okay, so the last piece that I picked up, you guys will be like, yeah, of course you did because you sell so many of these. And I do. So brass pedestal bowls like this are one of my best sellers. And this one is stunning with all this etched detailing and the interesting, like lip around the top. So yeah, it's just a beautiful piece. Um, I think I only paid a couple bucks for this. So this is one of those things where it's just like when I can get it for a couple bucks, I usually can sell them for 58 to like $89, which is awesome. So that's why these are like a hero piece for me. And they're very sturdy to ship, which is another thing. They're like great to ship because they are very solid, obviously, because they're brass. So this will be available in my Etsy shop. And yeah, these are one of my best sellers. So if you see them, you should pick them up too. Okay, so that's all I have to show you. Thank you so much for watching. My voice is officially going because I have not talked this much in weeks with my laryngitis. So definitely gonna have to rest my voice after this. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what items were your favorite and also what items should I have picked up? Because I'm always, when I watch other thrifters and when they're out, I'm just like, you should have picked that up. So I'm always interested in what you guys are drawn to as well. If you're looking for more thrifting and content between my haul videos, make sure you check me out on TikTok and Instagram. Thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.